ever wondered how a small, bird-like dinosaur like Trudon survived the harsh and challenging environment of the Cretaceous period? Welcome to a time of colossal dinosaurs and dramatic landscapes. The Cretaceous period, a time of great change and even greater challenges. Our protagonist, the Trudon, is no larger than a modern turkey with feathers and a sharp intellect. Its size and bird-like characteristics may seem like a disadvantage, but don't be fooled. Join us as we delve into the life of the Trudon and discover how this small creature adapted to survive. The story of the Trudon begins like any other, with birth. Emerging from their eggs, these tiny dinosaurs entered a world of colossal challenges. Their first steps were on the treacherous terrain of the Cretaceous period, a time of dramatic climate shifts and fierce competition for survival. From the get-go, Trudons were on their own, learning quickly to navigate their environment. Their small size made them vulnerable, but it also made them nimble, able to dart between the legs of larger predators. They developed sharp senses, their keen eyesight and acute hearing helping them detect danger from afar. Their diet, primarily insects and small animals, demanded quick reflexes and razor-sharp teeth. Learning to hunt was not only a matter of feeding themselves, but also a crucial skill for self-defense. Despite the odds, these small creatures learned to adapt quickly, setting the stage for a life of constant change. As the Truden grew, so did the challenges it faced. The Cretaceous period was a time of significant environmental upheaval, characterized by drastic climate change and an increase in predation. But the Truden was not one to be easily outmaneuvered. It adapted to these changes with a resilience that was truly remarkable. Physical adaptations were key to its survival, with longer legs for speed and agility, and sharp, serrated teeth for catching and eating prey, the Truden was well equipped for the challenges it faced. Its large brain relative to its body size also gave it an edge, suggesting a higher level of intelligence and problem-solving skills than many of its contemporaries. Behavioral adaptations were also crucial. Truden was likely nocturnal, enabling it to avoid many predators and exploit resources others could not. It may have also been a social creature, living and hunting in groups, further increasing its chances of survival. The Truden, despite its size, proved to be a survivor, constantly adapting to the world around it. Living in the Cretaceous period was not for the faint-hearted. It was a time when the world was undergoing dramatic changes. The late Cretaceous period, in particular, was marked by intense volcanic activities, shaping and reshaping the landscape in ways unimaginable. Meanwhile, the skies were not always safe either. Asteroids hurtled towards the Earth, causing impacts of cataclysmic proportions and altering life as it was known. In this chaotic world, the Truden, a small dinosaur, found ways to survive. It was not the strongest nor the largest dinosaur, but it was one of the most adaptable. Its keen senses, quick thinking and ability to learn from its environment likely played a significant role in its survival. These traits may have allowed it to react quickly to changes, to find shelter during volcanic eruptions or asteroid impacts, and to find new food sources when old ones disappeared. In the face of adversity, the Trudon demonstrated resilience and adaptability, proving that size does not always dictate survival. So what can we learn from the Trudon's journey? This dexterous dinosaur adapted splendidly to the Cretaceous period's ever-changing environment. Its keen intelligence, sharpened senses, and versatile physical traits made it one of the most capable survivors of its time. The Trudon didn't just survive, it thrived evolving to meet each new challenge head-on. The Truden story is a testament to the power of adaptability and evolution. It teaches us that no matter the challenge, survival is possible with the right adaptations.